Is alkaline water good for kidney disease? What is alkaline water? Alkaline water is water that has a higher pH above seven. And water has always been neutral or acidic when it's exposed to air. So neutral being seven and acidic being under seven. And once you expose water to air, it, it becomes acidic. And that's how water has always been drank throughout mankind and throughout history. So we know a lot more about it. Now, alkaline water is a fairly new uh, thing to the market in the last couple years, maybe 10 years or so. It's really uh, gaining ground recently where you can find it in uh, convenience stores, super, any supermarket. And we just don't know what the long-term impact of that is. When I looked at the studies on the National Library of Medicine, I can find a couple related to alkaline water and kidney disease, uh, one or two. They weren't strong studies, and it did show a potential benefit. But before you go switching over to all alkaline water, you don't want to do that because there is some harm that could potentially happen. Because first, we don't know what the long-term impact is, okay? We don't know what's going to happen if you drink tons of alkaline water, lots of alkaline water with kidney disease in six months, a year, two years. With the very short-term shows, it could have a small benefit. And if you're trying to alkaline your body, you're much more beneficial and in, in a much better way, which much more long-term research on it, is to eat more of an alkaline diet, which is more fruits and vegetables that are kidney friendly. And if you need to, using sodium bicarbonate or even better, uh, a delayed release sodium bicarbonate. And those are more effective ways to alkalize your body. And if you are gonna drink alkaline water and you have kidney disease, you wanna keep it to a small amount, maybe eight ounces a day, okay? Now with alkaline water, you're gonna find every claim on the internet from it can cure cancer to kidney disease. People are selling alkaline water machines that are thousands of dollars, where if you wanna alkaline your water, basic and inexpensive, you can just take your water, take a little sodium bicarbonate and just sprinkle it in. And you don't even need that much. You can just sprinkle it in and, and that will alkalize it for you. What happens if you drink a lot of alkaline water, like if you switch all of your water intake to alkaline water, you will throw off some pHs in your body. So when you look on the internet, it's everything should be alkaline. Alkaline is best. Alkaline is what you need. But within the body, there's different pHs depending on the environment. So your stomach is very acidic and it's acidic. So it can uh, break down uh, minerals, protein, and kill any bacteria, viruses, fungus that comes in on food. And when you take alkaline water, if you take too much of it, you can raise the pH of your stomach. And we've seen this in practice, I've seen it in practice here, where someone just switched their entire diet over to, um, not their diet, their water intake, completely over to alkaline water, and they're having a lot of day, and they were not feeling good. They were having stomach issues, lethargic, and when we tested their pHs, they were way, way high, way more alkaline than they were supposed to be for the different um, pHs of the body. Once they just stopped the alkaline water, they went back to feeling normal. Um, now that's an extreme example, okay? But just to show you that doing too much of anything isn't good, especially when we don't know enough about it. All right, so if you wanna, if you have kidney disease, chronic kidney disease, and you wanna try some alkaline water, six to eight ounces a day, and then drink regular water, as we know what the impact of this, that is, because it's been around since the beginning of mankind. And when you start changing things, we don't know yet what that long-term impact is gonna be, because it hasn't been around that long, it hasn't been studied that long. So more tips, good things you can do on our website. Feel free to ask questions that I'll answer here through video at healthykidneyinc.com. Like, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Thanks for watching everybody, bye.